All right, guys, we're doing the Philly cheesesteak inspired crepes. This one's gonna go to Jared so he can enjoy it. All right, so real quick, that what we have product wise, we're gonna have the Japanese seven spice, makes it even hotter. We have four ounces of roast beef to utilize our roast beef. We have our two slices of cheddar. We have two souffle cups of marinara. We use a classico spicy red pepper. All right, in case you're not sure. All right, that's what it looks like. Do not buy something else without checking what your team made first. Then we have also one souffle cup of our herb potato uh, hash browns. We have our thinly sliced mushrooms, portobellas, and then thinly sliced overall um, tricolored peppers, and then our, gar or our white onions, thinly sliced and caramelized. Each of these are just loosely cooked so that way it's faster when we get it done because we only have a couple minutes to do this menu. The last thing that's in there is the crepes, okay? Just like you saw for the cannoli filled ones. We'll do those in a minute. First, we're gonna start by getting the meats and everything sauteed up. So in a large pan, we have approximately a tablespoon and a half of garlic oil because we want the flavor. Go ahead and turn it on and turn one up to about 355 degrees. Let that oil get hot while it does. We're gonna take our roast beef and thinly slice it. We're trying to make that Philly cheesesteak look. It's four ounces, it's a good piece. This is a good item to have for a brunch item. All right, that'll all go with that. And then those two pieces of cheese I talked about will be with that. In the meantime, we're gonna put these hash browns on the griddle. Put a little bit of the pan spray on it. Jump your potatoes on. Smash them out ever so slightly. All right, let that settle. Don't mess with them, we want them to get golden brown. There's already a garlic oil in them. All right, back we go. Our oil is probably nice and hot by now. It's moving around pretty good. You can really smell it. Take all that beef into the pan. Your onions, your peppers, and your mushrooms, all as one. And then you have your own separate spatula for this one too. So right now you can kind of see that it's going to look like one of those Philly cheesesteak sandwiches, but our version of it. Now let that get really hot. We're going to add 25 turns of salt in it and 25 turns of pepper. Because right now this is overly just the natural flavors of everything. While that's sauteing, we're gonna go ahead and take our crepes over to the griddle real quick. We're gonna move Meredith over just a tad. You want it? Yeah. Coming out over here. It's right there, kiddo. Is that a real order or is that Jared's? Okay. Let Jared know I'll bring his out after I do this person's. Yes, Brandy? Um, do we know what was up front that was green, black, and rose? I would ask Jared. Okay. Brown side was down on that first, guys. Okay. Flip it. I want to get a little color on it. And then we're going to take it off. Put it on here to bring it back. Obviously, this split one is a real cruddy one. All right, we're going to head back over. Alright, let's 
check to see how we're doing here. Is that for you? No, that is going to be the, yes, ma'am, I'm sorry, Philly Crate. I'm going to do it for that customer, and then I'll make a new one for the other person. Sound fair? You can walk. And then we'll take our two souffle cups, marinara, put it in there. We'll take some of that Chinese spice, or seven spice, Ooh, almost messed up. We want a teaspoon. Please measure it. We don't want to burn them up. We don't want to do anything bad to them. Getting old, trying to look at things from the distance. And when I say make sure it's a, table, a teaspoon, make sure it's flush. Not anything over it, okay? Right in there. Take it, flip it. All right, that's what we want. Go a pitch lighter, but not much. All right, we're gonna take our crepe off and put that one on there. We're doubling up on it. The other one right beside it. Let's make one big one. Get all this stirred together. That garlic oil is going to be good in that, as well as peppers and onions. Once it gets really nice and hot, we need to get it out. It should only take probably about four minutes, five minutes for this total process. If you have everything where you should. I don't know where I'm at right now, time-wise. Let's see. Your cheese down. Turn this guy on, grab your mixture, place it right on top of the cheese, it'll help melt it. And you're gonna reserve some of it because it's all gonna go on the top outside layer. And there we go. Take it, rotate it over, rotate it back, and we'll put some more on the top here. potato pancake. It's just a little something extra for them. All right. And then a little bit of, where'd it go? There's the cheese. Just over the top. That's where the debate comes in, is whether or not they get cheese on their Philly cheese steak. And that's it. It's a little messy, but it's going to be tasty.